Okay, I feel like I've been on a roll in keeping these weekly screencasts uh, short and to the point. I, I can be a little verbose uh, in real life. Just uh, <laughs> bump into me at Target sometime and you'll see. Uh, so uh, in the hopes of keeping that streak alive, uh, this should be a pretty quick screencast as well about week four. Uh, as, as I've noted here, it's a lot more focused on planning than on execution. That's to say that uh, this is the week where you sort of get all your ducks in a row for the research project. Uh, the ducks in this case mostly being your outside sources. So uh, just some sort of reminders that there's you know, the project assignment, research project assignment, the, uh, the topic list, uh, the sample research projects. Uh, I'm not going to teach you much from them. I think they kind of speak for themselves. Uh, you have more reading to do uh, in, in both books. Finally, we're going to use the writer's FAQ, FAQs a little more, research, searching for information, um, and also in finding sources. So this is a week where you're going to be conducting uh, a lot of research online to find sources about your research project topic. Okay, so there's also um, the honesty and learning policy. I don't talk much about plagiarism because I know it when I see it and I when I catch people plagiarizing, I get them in as much trouble as I can. So you you know the stakes, you know when you're doing something wrong. Um, I, I'm not uh, counting on any of you to be plagiarists. So uh, there, I've said my piece. Uh, the digital library folder is still available. Uh, you're watching the screencast and then the uh, major stuff that you gotta have by, oh, I didn't think, think I said the date, but by June 30th at noon, what I want you to do is uh, watch all this, watch the screencast and watch the annotated bib assignment. Or, you know, check it out. Um, let's see. That's there's a screencast about the assignment. I'm not being super clear there. I also have a prezi about sources that I'll hopefully you know will uh, tell you my expectations for what uh, you know what constitutes a good source. There are basically four qualities that a source needs to meet in order to be considered uh, worthy of appearing in your research project, and uh, this prezi as well as uh, some other stuff that you'll read. You'll be reading in uh, the textbooks. Well fill you in on that, on how to be uh, very picky about your, your, your sources. Okay, so you have to complete the annotated bibliography assignments. We talked about it a little bit last week. Here it is. Uh, there's also, um, let's see, there's, I don't know, it's, it's fairly straightforward. Five sources, you cite them correctly and you annotate them. And basically that means, it, you know, uh, almost like a little mini reader response. Okay, uh, a sentence or two that summarizes the article, and then a sentence or two about how useful this article is going to be for your research uh, project. Okay, so there's I've included two examples, one in MLA, one in APA, just to give you a sense of what uh, they look like in terms of formatting and general length of annotations. Annotations, that's a tough balance to strike between not being too you know short, but also not being too long. And uh, this you know this this class is going to give you a little practice with that. Okay, then um, these are pretty much meant to be done in order, but you can do this stuff uh, in any way you see fit. So more about plagiarism, um, more about synthesizing and evaluating sources. Okay, the uh, research project proposal um, assignment. Oh, I have that on here twice. Let me get rid of this one. See, now you have one fewer <laughs> agenda item to worry about. You have uh, screencasts that are about um, you have the Bitly bundles, because there's a link to it here on um, MLA and APA, uh, different links to websites that will help, let's say, help you sort, uh, cite your sources. Um, okay, I get it. There will also be a PowerPoint about citation styles. Um, I will get that together. Um, it isn't quite ready to be included in the agenda, but it will be by the time you watch this. There's uh, also a Prezi uh, about quotes and about how to incorporate quotes. And then there's the, um, as I said, that proposal uh, assignment. I think I have it up here, let me see. Yes, I do. Okay, so, uh, and then a link to a sample proposal is within this assignment. I like to kind of move stuff around, make links uh, to make sure you're looking at the things I want you to be looking at. So uh, that's why that link isn't in the agenda. It's in the assignment itself to make sure that you look closely at the assignment. Okay. So claims and support for claims. Uh, if you're keeping up with uh, all the screencasts, then those two frame, those two terms should be familiar to you, uh, claim and support. Okay. And then um, as you begin to write your actual research essay, uh, just some general format and uh, writing suggestions. Okay, so I'm not going to read these to you. I think we're all big boys and girls. Uh, we can um, count on each other to stay right in step with the work that is involved. Uh, and wow, on that note, uh, I'm going to keep this under five minutes, so I'm going to uh, be real quick. Email me if you have any questions. Keep working hard on the research project. You got this. Let me help you. You will be fine. Keep working hard. Thank you very much. Email me your questions. Goodbye.